Hi guys, what have the Tories delivered over the last 13 years? Cost of living up, NHS waiting lists up, food bank usage up, raw sewage in rivers and lakes up, number of public buildings crumbling up. And while those are just some of the issues that you would imagine the Conservatives would think are important to deal with, they instead want to focus the minds of the public on immigration, which they believe is necessary to bring down. Well this week we've seen they've even failed at that. Since Brexit and the ending of freedom of movement, the EU nationals arriving in Britain have been replaced by more migration from non-EU countries. Now most reasonable people don't see this as a problem, but the Tories do. And our good friend, the Chief Secretary of the Treasury, Laura Trott, was sent out to spin the numbers. It didn't go well. This may seem rather familiar to you. There it goes, trucking along at about 300,000 until we hit... Oh, hello, Brexit, 2016, and then woof, off it goes. Now, if this is what let's control our borders looks like, that doesn't seem to me what was promised. There have been some very specific circumstances in the last couple of years. I, mean, I know, Ukraine. Every, yeah, absolutely. And I think most people at home would recognise and support what we did, which is to bring over a large number of Ukrainian refugees, yeah, but we as, didn't, well as, as well as people from Hong Kong. Yeah, right? but so we didn't were, bring over half a million no, over that not. period of time. So the that other, number is going up. Yep. It's trending up. Yes. You're never going to hit the quarter of a million that the Chancellor talked about on, on Wednesday by uh, 2027. So... Your numbers are all wrong. No, the, the other couple of things that I would highlight as a result of those, that have caused those numbers to go up, uh, have been the increasing number of student dependents. That's why we've taken the action that we have. That will affect over 150,000 of that, of that number. Uh, and then in addition, obviously we need to do more to make sure that British people are taking uh, jobs. And that is a huge push from the autumn statement this week. Oh my goodness, it's just pathetic. Pathetic piled upon pathetic. So first of all, she tried to spin it as, well, it's um, people coming in from Hong Kong and from Ukraine. And that only makes up a small section of that total number. Before this, they were talking about the small boats. But you notice that the small boats has been pushed aside because we're talking about maybe 50,000 on of a total of about 700,000. So the small boats is not going to be able to convince enough people that, well, this is the, the problem. The problem is not the small boats. Even, I think it was Jacob Rees-Mogg who was saying that the small boats is a distraction. The main figure, of course, is related to people coming in um, and dependents coming into the country legally. Now, once again, illegal immigration is not how the Tories spin it. But if we're talking about people coming in on visas and their dependents coming with them. Now, why are people coming in on visas? Because of work. Because there are jobs available. Now, some are coming in as students. Many are coming in as students and then moving into, the, uh, into different sectors of the economy to work. So they're using the visa as a means to get into the country and eventually to work. But there are jobs available. Now, why are there jobs available? Well, because of Brexit, because the UK decided to end freedom of movement. And as a consequence, it meant that many Europeans went back home. They couldn't get back into the country as they could before. And those jobs are now available. Now, some businesses have had to pay more to get the staff. They've had to pay the, the extra cost of these visas as well. And because of Brexit and because the UK is trying to get out of regulations to protect workers, well, it means that many workers are being exploited. So it's cheaper in some ways and it's more expensive in others. But the care sector and the NHS is the main bulk of where the workers are going, it seems. These used to be EU workers. Now they're being, being replaced by non-EU workers. If you're, you know, if you imagine the, the countries that the people are coming from, Pakistan, from India, maybe in some African countries, very poor, relatively poor countries, the standard of living is much higher. And they, I think it was Sky News itself, interviewed a number of migrants who were asked, what, why are you moving to Britain? And they said the quality of life is better here than at home. So if the quality of life is better, then of course people are going to come. Jobs available. And in some ways, you can negotiate a better salary than, uh, than you could have years before because you'd be competing with EU nationals. So this is driving up 
the cost for health care, for social care, but it's also creating pressures because these workers need to live somewhere and housing needs to be provided. The government over the last number of years and decades have not been investing enough in housing, have not been providing enough social and affordable housing. And this is going to create problems down the road because as the requirements, as the, the greater numbers come in, they're going to put pressure on housing. This is a reality, okay? But it can be fixed by government policy. But the government don't seem to be interested in doing that. And this is going to create problems. But of course, at the end, what does she say? She says she starts talking about forcing British people into doing these jobs. And we've talked about that before, how so many British people can't or it's not feasible for them to do these jobs. They don't have the skill set or they, they're too far away from where the job actually is for it to be feasible for them to travel or relocate. So failure after failure, and of course the response is, well, uh, it's not our fault. It's someone else's fault. It's Ukraine, it's uh, Hong Kong, it's, uh, war, it's the war, it's global factors. Um, nothing to do with us. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.